What's good, man? It's the GOAT God, ISO God, Sensei, the greatest 2K player in all existence. Now listen up, man. I have a lot of, I got a lot of, I got a lot of things to address, man. So y'all be sure to watch this full video. It will be worth, you know, the information. Um, It's going to help you make your builds for um 2K20. Even though I don't know the archetype system, I don't know the builds. But it's common sense from the information that I've gathered. Okay? So, yeah. Make sure if you're new, you subscribe. Drop a like on the video if you are ISO guy sensei like myself. And, um, yeah, man. Turn on post notifications. But look. Peep this, bro. So, look. I'm not about to bash the game, the developers, nothing. I'm just telling you what. <laughs> Hey man, if y'all looking for a stack 2K account with a high overall or and a good record, you know, and all that, you know, you looking to buy an account, man, you don't feel like grinding, or you know, you wanna sell your account or some Fortnite shit. Hey man, go to sportstmb.com. Um, the link will be in the description. Um, be sure on checkout to say that young swan, I think. Okay, and please do not be in my comments saying. Oh, you just want only guards. Oh, you just saying this cause you suck. Oh, you don't wanna, you don't wanna have to get this and that. Blah, 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 blah. Look, I'm Swante, the best nigga in the game. Run with randoms, unstoppable, unbeatable. No one beat me. I'm unstoppable, okay? I'm never lost. I'm a god. I get triple teamed, double teamed consistently. And I still dick niggas while yelling in game chat. You feel me? Screaming how good I am. Every 2K, screaming how great I am. No one stops me. Nobody. They study me. They still don't. I ISO. No screens. Don't matter who pulls up. Lockdowns, all that shit. Every year, kill lockdowns. Even this year, when they're the most OP archetype in the game. So don't know. My, my sole reason for my positioning and voice and my, my whole mindset is for a skill gap, a fun gap, because I want to play a game that I enjoy, you know? I make money from this. I want to play a game that I enjoy the most. So I'm trying to influence it in a certain way. But before that, I digress. Listen up, man. So we're going to go over a lot of things, man, a lot of stuff. Now, look, I'm going to address this first. So Mo. He tweeted out to Baluba. He said, hey, just wanted to know at what speed with ball rating will a player be able to speed boost or is it a combination of ball control and speed with ball? Now, if you guys didn't know, um, to speed boost, it's going to be more speed with ball and then to momentum, it's going to be your ball handling. Maybe they separated this so people just don't get ripped crazy or something. I don't know. Not too sure. But look, listen very closely. Now, he said, tier three, first steps unlock. Now, when he says first step, that's a um, phrase I invented. It means speed boosting. A lot of you guys don't think speed boosting is real. I call it the first step. You know, the first burst. It's a it's a burst. Yeah, players do it all the time. It's called, a, it's called acceleration, first step. You know, you can burst out, you feel me? Um, but anyways, he, could, he says tier three first steps unlock with 86 speed with ball. Momentum cross and tier three dribbling moves are still based on ball control and also unlock at 86. Keep in mind that ratings fluctuate based on takeover rhythm. I hate that they implemented that in 19. It looks like it's not going away. And fatigue. So you may want a buffer if speed boosting is important to you. Now listen, he didn't say this last year. We started spazzing out because of so much stuff, man. Um, last year it was he just told us that 86 was the the ball control. Like he didn't say that, oh, if you if you have a bad play <laughs> the first possession, that uh you won't be able to speed boost no more. And or um that if you make a build that has 86 ball control it's gonna you have to hit a high overall 
most likely to unlock that 86 ball control he didn't tell us that you know so a lot of us had to um remake our builds and all this other stuff it was extremely obnoxious but you know we figured out throughout the year that it doesn't really matter there's ways to dribble without even needing 86 ball control and it's just out of control i really hate that feature man because i don't want other builds to be able to speed boost or dribble like other guards you know like um the seven foot um stretch playmaker can like i think at like 95 he can start momentum me when he get in takeover like what the hell and like pure sharps and shit like it, it, it's like six five or uh, it's something like that i don't remember i don't like it i think it's i think it's dumb as hell but whatever man do what y'all do but look so when you make your build okay this is going to be like for sure stuff okay we went for 90 okay 90 plus ball control you know you're gonna want to adjust your wingspan and your height based you know your height and your weight whatever to to make sure if you're trying to be an iso dribble guy you're gonna want to most likely unless you know how to really combo up without needing the speed boost or momentum if you want to be the fastest possible and be able to dribble longer because um if you guys didn't know, they made it to where if you have 90 ball control, you don't go into that slow molasses state as fast as if you had, you know, like, like for instance, you could have one fourth ball control, one fourth stamina, and you could still, you know, momentum and stuff. If you have like 90 plus ball control, but if you have 86, it's like one half, a little lower. And then you start going into the slow molasses shit. So, you know, that's something to think about, you know. I'm most likely going to go for like a 90 rated for like my first ISO build. Just to be safe, you feel me? 90 plus rated or 90 rated. All depends. I'm going to want a bigger build. I want to be as big as possible for whatever type of build I make. And um, I, I kind of know. Y'all let me know in the comments down below if um y'all want me to tell y'all my 2k20 build but um yeah i'm gonna definitely go for that man i think that's the most safe and most optimal so i think you're gonna want the speed with ball and the um the momentum with uh like 90 just to be safe for your first iso god you feel me so you don't run into any problems because maybe you can't well, you'll most likely be able to, bruh. Like, to keep it a hundred. Even in one of the uh, gameplay trailers, the cinematic trailer, man, they show uh, Kyrie doing that, um, the Steezo whoop de whoop. I call it the Panther Slash. But, uh, you know, they did that little behind the back move. And then, if you know how to do it, the Ice of Gods, y'all know what I'm talking about. You can do the crossover, and you, that's still in the game. And then they also showed um, someone on IG. I don't think I can show any IG clips, so. You know, whatever. But um, they showed a guy doing a crossover and like really bursting. So it's in the game. That little Steezo whoop de whoop shit. So y'all, y'all might, you know, that's like the best move <laughs> created. It's like crossover eleven from sixteen. Let me like the video if you remember crossover eleven from sixteen. Cheesy ass shit. But uh, yeah. Okay, my boy Young Lamonsta said, uh, how is dribbling with the left stick gonna be? And Mike Wang replied to this dude. He said, to be clear, dribble moves as you know them are still on the right stick. When I mentioned there are dribble moves on the left stick in the blog, I just meant there are simple crossovers, behind the back wraps, step backs, etc. that play contextually as a part of the new motion engine. Now, here's my theory on this. I don't think a lot of people picked up on this shit. Um... I think this is so the game doesn't look like people are zigzagging. Now they're going to be doing moves when they're zigzagging back and forth. You feel me? They're going to be doing actual moves. And maybe this actually would slow down the zigzag. Them like doing moves or maybe they just look like they're actually dribbling. And now it's not it's not zigzagging. It, it'll be zigzagging to me. But it won't look like that to the average consumer. You feel me? Like because they'll be dribbling, you know? while they're like left sticking or whatever i don't know so yeah y'all let me know if y'all think that's right in the uh, comments down below and also let me know what archetype you thinking of making with this newfound information you know what what's going to be your first build you know 
if you are ISO dribble guy. Now y'all keep listening up, man, because this LD stuff that I'm gonna be saying, it's it's gonna mess with a lot of our heads, bro. Like I don't I don't know, it's not looking too promising for us ISO guys, but you know, they they do what they can, we do what we want. We will always find a way, my guy. We the most highly skilled individuals in the game. Now peep this. So my boy Story, shout out to my boy Story. Y'all go follow him on Twitter. Um, he said, how will stamina affect playmakers this year? I understand some players just spam one move, but the advanced skill dribblers cannot show off their moves because the stamina bar is blinking after three moves. Okay. If you guys didn't know, oh, never mind. Now, Mike Wang says there's a whole new badge called Handle for Days. Badge allows you to pull off a lot more dribble combos before getting fatigued. Okay, now I picked up on it. I don't think a lot of people picked up on it. He's just reading the description of the badge. That doesn't mean he's not comparing it to anything, bro. So, you know, I brought it up. Like, <laughs> he's not comparing it to anything. People are starting to get hyped and shit. And I'm like, nah, y'all gotta chill. So I said, okay, that's cool. But you didn't compare it to anything or directly answer his question. So we have no idea if stamina is improved or not compared to 19. Or if people who have the badge have way more stamina than 19, please respond, I love you. I love you, Mike Wayne. I love you, bro. You feel me? But look, so even almost the whole community, most of the community, even people that don't ISO, there's only, it's only like 5% of us that ISO. I don't know why y'all think <laughs> that our community is so big we're such a minority bro like bro you could go play any game you're not gonna run into people isoing everyone uses screens bro five percent you know we just we just use our voice so it seems like we're bigger than we are bro but um even people that don't iso they agree that stamina should be improved and that we should have way more stamina than what we have and way more than compared to other builds, you know? Even they agree. So, yeah. Then he he replies to me, says, your ability to chain together combo moves slows down as your energy drops. When it drops too low, you start to fumble the ball. That's just like uh, 17. That's just like 18. And that's just like 19. He didn't even respond to what i said i'm a i'm a demigod genius demigod genius in the comment section down below be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and like the goddamn video and watch all my other videos after this video but look so i said also no dribblers ever fumble the ball and they can dribble forever without getting tired especially in a game to 21 now here's what a lot of y'all dumb niggas don't realize let me, let me, let me, let me, let me speak some knowledge to y'all young, dumb niggas. Now, if you ain't realized, <laughs> professional pro athletes <laughs> have amazing stamina and cardio, kid. They can dribble forever, okay? Your best games were when there was unlimited stamina, okay? So I don't see why people make such a big deal out of me wanting unlimited stamina. It's realistic, bro. People be like, oh, you just want to spam moves, bro. People can spam moves with stamina restrictions every year. What do you mean? People can spam moves all 24 seconds. Still, if you put unlimited and just have good defense like 16, it's perfect. The game plays fast. It's perfect. Why? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You doing stuff that people don't want, bruh. Only bum people want some stuff like that, you know? But anyways, so like, like for instance, bro. If Kyrie goes and plays in the park, a lot of, he, he's going to dribble. He's going to show off and try to dick niggas, bro. But if he's playing in an NBA game, an important game, he's not going to, over dribble he's going to play efficiently and score efficiently what you guys don't realize is people only over dribble to show off versus not comp when they play comp 
They do shorter moves. They do shorter sequences. You guys don't think. When you see me play comp, do you see me trying to just break his ankles and do all these crazy dribble moves? When you see Steezo play comp, do you do you see him just doing the mixtape dribbles? No. It's still nice dribbles, but it's broken down. Same with LaMonsta. Same with Sin. Same with everybody, bro. You guys are so dumb. You don't think, bro. If we're not playing comp, we're going to show off just like people in real life would. ISO is real. Any top player that ISOs, bro, in the park, bro, they would ISO like 99% of the time and they would dribble to show off. Just like what happens in the park, it's street ball. What? And then if you're not playing comp, you're trying to go crazy. I don't know what's wrong with y'all then. But y'all let me know in the comments down below if y'all think stamina is going to be OD restricted this year. If y'all think it's going to be better than 19 or whatever. So look, peep this. So if you guys didn't know, I'm going to make another video about this whole lockdown thing, bro. Because it is insane. So Mike Wang tweets out, Heart Crusher knocks down the other team's takeover meters when you get a block or steal. Intimidator buffs the defender's impact on all block and contest attempts. <sighs> God damn. It's like they didn't realize that lockdowns was the most OP build in 19, G. So that, <laughs> if lockdowns are still as good as 19 with all these extra buffs, bro. It's, it's sounding, it's sounding like it's going, it's going to be a little... <laughs> little like a little you know a little op my guy is, uh, i don't know it sounded like it's gonna be a little crazy bro anyways um vaughn says this sounds terrible what the fuck the community been saying all year locks are broken especially with them spamming square on d and y'all give them more bs laughing my so i'll fire somebody i agree and then Kevin said, LOL, they don't care about the community, bro. Then LD2K, LD, I f you, G. You doing a lot, a lot of good for the community and all that stuff, you know. You talking to us, I really appreciate it. I love you so much. And all you guys, all my fans, y'all gotta mobilize on Twitter, man. Y'all see me tweet some shit, go back me up. You feel me? Y'all do a pretty good job. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, follow me on IG too, in the description. But look. So, um, he said, keep that same energy soon, replying to the, uh, they don't care about the community. And he shows Kobe, right? And then, J-Man, he's going off of, um, because we, J-Man, or LD2K has defended Locke, saying, like, oh, we have advanced analytics, this is why we do this and that, blah, blah, blah. Then we try to explain to him that how y'all think locks are, they're actually not. Like, they're too OP in the game. Like, there's no build in real life that's, like, that dominant. And they 6'8", six, 6'10", six, locks. And just... It, it's just... If you play comp or any decent players, you'd understand that it's a really broken build. So, anyways, LD2K. Can't believe you said this, bro. I lost a little respect for you, my guy. He said, I don't debate hoops with people who believe if it ain't ISO, it don't count. What? Why would you say that, LD? Y'all go on Twitter and mobilize, man. Every time he tweet, type, if it ain't ISO, it don't count. Let him know. If it ain't ISO, it don't count. Spam it in the comment section, man. So, I don't know what someone said. But I, I I blocked him, so I, uh, I guess that person blocked me. I don't know what he said. But look, so I'm going to show y'all this Kobe video, right? Listen to what he says, bro. Hey, by the way, this is the stuff that's important. This right here is important. All this stuff where coaches give you two, three, four, five basketballs to dribble, nonsense. You want to score, this is how you score, moving off the ball. You got to understand how to move the defense away. How to set them up on screens. You're not going to get in the game and dribble the ball a million times, right? 
So if you guys sitting here, you guys really got to be paying attention to this stuff because this is how you get buckets. Understand? All right. We'll start that again, right? Now he's saying that to diss the ISO community and all that other shit low key, you feel me? I don't I don't know what's wrong with LD. I don't know if you realize this, but Kobe's an ISO player. He is an ISO god. Okay? If you've seen him play at the park, he would try to be even more fancier than he tries or tried in the NBA. Those are comp games. People only over dribble when they play in bums. So it's like, what are you talking about, bro? It, it's like, bro, it's, it's so funny to me how people's favorite player is literally an ISO player. And then they bash ISO on a video game just because they can't do it or they can't defend it. Crazy to me, bro. Like, it literally makes no sense. Come on, man. Get your skill up, bro. It's a game. So young Kia replies, man, she says, LOL, no W this time. The original statement was regarding locks making everything. I'm 1000% positive Tony Allen and Andre Robertson don't come off screens making jump shots. This video is more in reference to offensive minded players, not locks. Good try though, LD. Big dub, big dub for Kia. Kia. That LD2K, you know, he eases up. He's seen he made a mistake. He says, the feedback was that we shouldn't define what an archetype or build should be, attribute, badges, etc. We heard you. All ISO players will always have a place in the park, just not my thing. How is it not your thing? Your favorite player, Kobe. He an ISO guy. Come on, man. If you need if you need a dribble tutorial, LD, you feel me? If you want me to give you some personal lessons, I got you, G. Just DM me on Twitter. Follow me. Then Kia says, you know, something I've stressed so much. <laughs> you feel me? Literally every person that's ever won MVP is an ISO player. <laughs> I, I rest my case, my nigga. <laughs> I rest my case. Every nigga that's won MVP. The people in the top 50, top 100, it's mostly ISO players, bruh. So it's like, shut up. <laughs> The people who lead the team, ISO players, bruh. Anyways, she says, James Harden won MVP from ISO. Keep it balanced. Don't discredit or nerf ISO too much, please. It's definitely an art and skill to be able to take someone off the dribble while chaining together moves. Anyways, you know, LD eases up. Of course, I'm actually excited to see what some of the best dribblers will do in the, on the sticks this year. I don't know why people got hyped off that tweet, but, um, yeah, bro. Uh, we don't know, bro. Y'all let me know down in the comments down below what build you're planning on making for 2K20. Y'all be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications, follow me on Twitch, follow me on IG, follow me on Snap. Um, I think I'm dropping another video after this, so y'all um go peep that shit. And um, I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know down in the comments what they should do for 2K20. What you think the demo gonna be about? Watch one of these four videos. Make sure you go to the gym seven days a week. Get your mind right, bro. Body right, mind right. And um, I love all of you. I appreciate all the support. And um, merch coming soon. Give me some uh, give me some uh, <laughs> some ideas down in the comment section. Bye.